I know I'm late to the party, but I just watched The Watchmen directed by Zack Snyder and I'm so excited to talk about it because this movie was so good. Spoiler for your review, of course. Adapted from a comic book of the same name by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons, this film dives deep into the complex themes of life through the lens of a retired group of vigilantes known as The Watchmen. Each character in the group brings their own unique perspective to the respective story, all highlighting the complexities of heroism. Here's a brief summary into each main character of the Watchmen group. First up is Rorsatch, who is my personal favorite character of the whole movie, and he's a vigilante with an uncompromising black and white view of morality. His relentless pursuit of justice makes the viewers question the limits of right and wrong and the cost of being completely sure of one's morals. Next up in the group, we got Dr. Manhattan, who was once a human, now is a godlike being, and as time goes on, he's being constantly detached of his humanity. His character explores the themes of existentialism, nature of time, and the isolation that comes with bearing immense power and knowledge. The comedian, who's my least favorite character of The Watchmen, is an anti-hero who embodies the darkest aspects of human nature. His actions and worldview challenge the notion of heroism and expose the grim realities of violence and corruption. Next up, we got Night Owl and Silk Spectre. These two characters are more traditional, yet still disappointed heroes who struggle with their identities and their significance of their past actions in a world that no longer values vigilantes. And finally, we got Ozymandias, who's the smartest man in the world with a controversial plan to save humanity. His utilitarian approach to do so raises questions about the ethics of sacrifice and the moral ambiguity of ends justifying means. The movie is a bit of a longer watch as it's two hours and 43 minutes, but the plot of the movie is so engaging, the characters, the music, and and the action all bring a full circle. So honestly, that near end three hour movie doesn't feel like it. I will say there's one scene in the movie where the music cue just didn't sit right with me. But other than that, I caught myself like gasping and like hitting no ways watching this movie because there were so many plot twists and turns that I did not think would happen. Even had me thinking about my stance on what it means to be a hero and what sacrificing for the greater good does physically, mentally, and what it means in your heart. Out of five, I'll give this movie like a 4.7. It was just that one scene and that one musical cue that just didn't sit right with me. Overall, such a great movie, great characters, great cinematography, great action. If you want to watch it, it's on Max now.